Hi, this is Dr. Tai from Premier Orthodontics, and in this video we're going to be talking about three different ways the underbites are fixed with braces. So let's get started. Before we start talking about how to fix underbites, let's first define what an underbite is. What most people call an underbite, orthodontists sometimes call negative overjet. This basically means that the lower teeth stick out too far compared to the top teeth. An underbite is a less common bite problem, but it's something that orthodontists fix routinely. How we fix the underbite will depend on how severe the bite problem is. There are lots of different ways to fix underbites, but in this video we'll discuss three of the most common ways we correct underbites at Premier Orthodontics. The first type of underbite we'll discuss is a mild underbite. The patient shown in this picture is a good example of a mild underbite. You can see that his bottom teeth stick out a bit compared to the top teeth. In addition to the bite problem, he also has lots of crowding. For this type of underbite, a combination of braces and elastics were used to fix the bite. As you can see in this animation, that by connecting a rubber band in this direction, over time the top teeth will be pulled forward and the bottom teeth will move back. With this patient we showed earlier, you can see that his braces plus rubber bands he was able to get his underbite fixed and he got a great result. The second type of underbite we're going to discuss is a moderate underbite. For a moderate underbite, elastics alone may not be enough. And in these cases, we may recommend having permanent teeth extracted in order to fix the bite. In moderate underbite cases, usually the lower teeth are very protrusive and are sticking too far forward. This patient here is a good example. We'll demonstrate how taking out teeth on the upper arch and on the lower arch and then closing the space can help fix a moderate underbite and help reduce the protrusion of the front teeth. You can see in this animation that we will usually have the bicuspid or premolar teeth extracted, then using braces, move teeth into the extraction space to correct the underbite. Once the space is closed, you won't be able to tell the teeth were ever removed, the bite will fit together properly, and the underbite should be corrected. Going back to our patient, she had two teeth on the upper arch and two on the lower arch extracted. We closed that space and by the time we were done, she had a beautiful smile, no spaces, and her underbite was completely corrected. The last type of underbite correction we'll discuss is a severe underbite that is too severe to fix with braces and extractions alone. So for these types of cases, jaw surgery or orthognathic surgery may be recommended. Luckily, most patients won't require jaw surgery for underbite correction, but for certain patients, jaw surgery and braces can be life-changing. The patient shown here is a good example of a patient who would benefit from a combined treatment of braces and jaw surgery. Due to the severity of her bite, we felt that we wouldn't be able to achieve a good result with braces alone. Additionally, we felt that her profile and jawline would greatly benefit from a combined treatment plan that included jaw surgery with her braces treatment. This short animation will demonstrate how jaw surgery can help to correct severe underbites and what kind of change it can make on the profile and jawline. So going back to our patient, she had braces with our office and was to refer to a local oral surgeon for the surgical procedure. She was able to get a full correction of her underbite and greatly improve her profile and jawline. So these are just three examples of how underbites are fixed. There are lots of different methods and appliances, and the only way to know for certain which one will work best for you or your child is to have a consultation with an orthodontist. If you're living in the Phoenix, Arizona area, we would love to see you for a 100% free consultation. At this consultation appointment, we'll discuss the best way to fix your underbite and answer any other questions you may have. If you have any questions about underbites, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. If you found this information helpful, please give this video a like. Also make sure to subscribe to our channel for more braces related content and make sure to tap that bell. Thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon.